What is going on guys and welcome back to another exciting video. Today I'm going to show you how to use the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 with the iPhone 14 Pro to capture smooth cinematic b-roll footage. Now just because you got the DJI Osmo Mobile 6 doesn't mean that your videos will automatically look cinematic. It does take practice and you'll need to know some of the techniques in order to create smooth looking shots. And that's why I'm here. I'm going to take you with me so that you can see how I create those nice looking shots this way, after watching this video, you can go out and implement those techniques for yourself. Now, if you haven't checked out the video I made about the DJI Osmo Mobile 6, make sure to check that out. I will link it up here somewhere. Now, one of the questions I get asked most is, do you even need a gimbal? From my experience shooting handheld and with a gimbal, having a gimbal can be really helpful as it's easier to create those smooth looking shots. Now, even though the iPhone 14 Pro comes with a new feature called action mode that enhances the stabilization, there are still cons to using it. One would be is that action mode requires a lot of light. Otherwise, the footage is unusable. And secondly, you can only record up to 2.8K. And if you're someone who likes to shoot in cinematic mode but has difficulties shooting handheld, then having a gimbal can be very helpful. I also find that using a gimbal allows me to get more creative shots, especially with the built-in extension pole and also the quicker setup time with the magnetic clamp. Now, for those who don't know me, my name is Bennett Grazer. I'm the creator of SmartphoneFilmmaking.com, the ultimate online course helping you create better mobile videos right away. As you can see, I'm playing around with the zoom. I just see other YouTubers do that. I kind of like it. I don't know if you like it. If it's annoying, leave it in the comments. Now, I want to thank DJI for sponsoring this video. It's brands like them that allow me to do what I love and help you guys learn more about filmmaking. So once again, thank you, DJI, for supporting this channel. Now, before we get started, I want to share with you three major tips that you should know about when using a gimbal. So the first thing that you should do is to balance your phone correctly. Otherwise the gimbal won't operate properly. And it's actually quite easy using the magnetic clamp. Just place it at the center of the phone and make sure the camera icon over here is pointing towards the camera right here. And once you have that, just make sure these two points align together, simply turn it on and you're ready to go. And then number two would be to hold your gimbal with both hands like so. This way you have more stability and create a sort of three point contact and can really move the camera more precisely. Now, if you're more advanced, you can try using one hand, but I find using both hands, I have way better control. And then number three is that you should walk heel to toe. This is really important. You want to bend your knees and then slowly walk forward as you create your shot. Also keep your arms close to your body while you're moving. And you don't wanna move just with your hands, you wanna move with your whole body. This will give you better results. So now that we have that out of the way, let's start by creating our first shot with the gimbal. Now I apologize for the audio. There is a guy with a leaf blower, so it might sound a little bit loud. Now before we get started, and make sure to set the orientation of your camera. The orientation of your camera depends on the platform you're uploading it to. Because this will be posted on YouTube, I'll be setting the orientation to horizontal by double pressing the switch button over here. The next thing you should do is enable grid lines. This will help you set your composition and keep your horizon leveled. Now, in terms of camera settings, I'll be shooting in 4K 60 frames per second. 4K offers a higher resolution than 1080p and has more detail and allows me to reframe my shot if I need to without much quality loss. I'll shoot it in 60 frames per second. This allows me to slow down the video in the edit resulting in a much smoother video. And also the shakes are much less apparent. So now that you know that, let's create our first shot. Now I'll be creating a jib shot. I'm gonna reveal the location so that I can use that clip at the beginning of the video. Now the jib shot is definitely more of an advanced move, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. So this will be the ending position and I'm gonna set and lock focus over here. And once I have my focus and exposure locked, I can Press hold the trigger button so that no changes occur and then get low to the ground and then press the record button and then slowly move upwards. So we're now gonna create a shot that is a bit more advanced. We're gonna use the extension pole to get a low shot. So just simply pull out this part right here, 
to extend the gimbal and then I'm gonna place the camera or position the camera upside down this way and we're gonna create a low shot I'm gonna make sure to set and lock focus we're here simply press the record button and then slowly push forward and this should look really nice Again, try to be steady as you do this move. It's not that easy, it does take a bit of practice. The next shot I'm gonna create is a push-in shot. And this time I'm gonna create a close-up shot. I'm gonna use the leaf as the foreground. I actually wanna get this close to the leaf and to get more creative with the shot, instead of just pushing in like this i'm actually gonna set and lock focus on the leaf this way we can let the leaf come in focus as i push in and as i create my push in shot i'm also gonna press hold the trigger button this way it won't pan left or right this way the subject will always stay centered in the frame i'm gonna tap hold the trigger button and then slowly push in with my entire body nice So the next shot I'm gonna create is a push forward shot, but this time I'm gonna tilt the camera upwards while I do that. So let me show you how I do that. So we have some nice structures going on here. I like the rocks, how they're laid out on the ground. And to create this shot, I'm gonna use the ultra wide angle lens to have more in the frame. And then I'm gonna set and lock focus. So just keep in mind to walk slowly in a constant speed with your knees bent and it might take a couple of tries and the mode i'm using is the tilt pan follow mode and then once i'm ready i'm going to press the record button and then while i move forward i'm going to slowly tilt up the camera like so if i can i always try to include subject in my video, whether it's animals or myself or people. And for this shot, I'm gonna actually have a static shot of myself. And what's great is that I can use the extension pole to adjust the height. And I'm gonna use that rock over there to place the gimbal on it and then adjust the framing so that I have a shot of myself from behind. I'm gonna place the gimbal on this rock over here, stretch this part out and then make sure the framing is right using the joystick. And then I can actually use my Apple Watch to frame myself. This is really useful. And by the way, I'm gonna use cinematic mode for this shot. I like to play around with different shooting modes and cinematic mode really gives that nice shallow depth of field that I can record in 4K, 25 frames per second. So I'm now gonna place myself in front of the camera, I'm gonna use the Apple Watch to frame myself. Make sure I'm centered. A little bit more. All right, this looks good. And action. So the next thing we're gonna create is a rotation shot. I've set the gimbal to inception mode and I can use the joystick to rotate the camera. And I found this interesting tree over here that has an interesting pattern. Now when tilting up with the camera, you can see that we are limited. It doesn't go any further than that. You could shoot like this, but it is a little bit more difficult to do. So what I like to do is actually extend the pole a little bit and then angle it towards me like so. And this way, I can angle the gimbal upwards and it'll be much easier to operate. For this, I'll be using the ultra wide angle lens as the movement will be much more apparent. Then I'm gonna set and lock exposure close to the leaf so that we have a little bit of the background out of focus as I do this move. So I'm gonna start, I think over here, I'm gonna turn it all the way and then once I'm ready, 
I'm gonna press the record button and then push and then slide down while rotating the camera. Now I realized that it might be easier pushing upwards. So I'm gonna try that out. Three, two, one, and go. So the next thing I wanna do is actually capture a little bit of the surrounding. I'm gonna create a little slide shot and I have a bit of foreground over here as you can see. And then I'm gonna set and lock focus. And then I'm gonna slide from left to right. And you don't always have to move with your feet. You can also stay stationary and just move with your upper body. So let's do that. I've set it to pan, tilt, uh, follow mode. Press the record button and action. So what I'm also gonna capture is a detailed shot of the plant. Uh, this way we also have a variety of shot, not only wide and medium shots. Now we actually have some sun peeking from behind, which will look also really nice. And I'm gonna actually try and set focus on the leaf. Now this might not always work. I'm gonna actually place my hand in front of the lens and then set and lock the focus and exposure. I try to get as close as possible. Yeah, I think around here, and then I'm gonna set and lock the exposure on it. And as you can see, this looks really nice. We have some nice bokeh in the background. I'm actually gonna create a slight orbit shot. I'm actually gonna focus on this print. I think I like the background better and go. Slowly orbit around it. Awesome. Let's now look at the final clip with sound effects, music, and color grade applied. Now the best way to get better at operating with your gimbal is to go out and practice. If you need to rewatch this video and really take the time to try out each gimbal move, meaning slide shot, push in shot, push out shot, rotation shot, all of these shots in order to get better results with your gimbal. Now the LUTs I use are actually from my premium mobile LUTs. So if you're interested, make sure to check out the link below. Now, if you're someone who wants to improve their mobile video skills and you love shooting and capturing moments with it, then make sure to check out my smartphone filmmaking course where I share all of my knowledge on how to capture the best possible quality with your smartphone. Now make sure to also download my free smartphone filmmaking guide that will help you get started making quality videos on your smartphone. I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.